Hi friends and welcome back. Um, today's pour is going to be just pure joy um, type of uh, pour. I am going to also um, try to correct a mistake that I did yesterday. Um, so I'm actually getting over a wicked cold that I've had for about a week. Um, it happened when my mom had to go to the hospital. Uh, fortunately, they have allowed me to go into the, stay in the hospital with her, uh, but did not give me like blankets and such. And I was right underneath the AC, but I was thankful that I was in there with her because she was very scared. So, um, luckily, you know, she had surgery. We came out. She's, um, you know, mobile now. She's like walking around. So, so she she's doing great. And fortunately, also, I think I'm over the hump with this illness, so I'm super happy. So, we're going to do a happy pour. So, we're going to be using um, my favorite, Thalo Blue by Liquid Tech Basics. Um, we're still going to use up this Dioxazine uh, Purple uh, by Golden. We then have um, Titanium White with a, uh, from Liquid Tech Basics with a little bit of um, Deco R, Satin Enamel, and Pure White. Then we have um, Liquitech Basics uh, Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue with a bit of a darker, I, it's probably Cadmium Yellow Deeper Hue. Um, it's still Liquitech Basics. And then we have the Deco Art 24 Karat Gold. I have just a tiny bit of that. And then we have um, the Brilliant Purple by Liquitech Basics. Into that, I added um, amethyst, which is a metallic by Deco Art, um, and that just a little bit, um, just because um, I was trying to get rid of that. So I'm trying to finish up um, as many of the paints as I possibly can. I may also use a little bit of this Modern Masters, um, uh, what is it called, Black Cherry. Um, but it, it seems pretty dark, but what I'm going to try to do is put white uh, Between each of the layers so that way it's not as dark as it could potentially be so um, And I'm also trying to correct Something that I think I did wrong. I'm trying to do um, Something that Fiona from Fiona art did utilizing a walk um, strainer So hopefully this works out, okay? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started with layering the cup. Uh, let's move the stuff away. Okay, so... So this is a 14 by 14, so we only need 7 ounces of paint, utilizing a 9 ounce cup. We're going to go in with, let's start with some gold. Okay. And we're going to put a white, like I said, I'm going to be putting white between all the colors just to sure that everything goes well so now we're gonna this one is like super liquidy I think I... so the purple is way too liquidy so I'm gonna have to uh, remix it with um, some of the original paint and we'll have to add a little bit more uh, pouring medium so I'm gonna speed this up so you don't have to um, see me basically mix more paint However, if you do want to see um, how I mix my paints as well as how I make the pouring mix, I do have a video called Making Pouring Mix, um, which is 9.0, no, 9A. 
um, in the series. So if you want to see how I pour as well as not how I pour, but how I make my pouring mix as well as how I mix my paints, um, go ahead and take a look at that video. Okay. Uh, enjoy. Thanks. So finally, um, after finishing um, remixing that purple, we'll go ahead and continue uh, layering the cup. So we put the purple next and then white, as I mentioned, we're going to do white in between each one of the layers. Now we're putting brilliant purple with amethyst. And then... Um, We'll go back in with a white, and this is Titanium White by Liquitech Basics with um, a little bit of satin enamel and pure white. Now we're going to put a little bit more gold. Um, this is 24 karat gold by Deco Art. Now we're going back in with a cadmium yellow um, medium hue with I think is a little... Um, cadmium yellow deeper hue or perhaps an Indian yellow hue then white and then now my favorite which is thalo blue also by Liquitech basics now back in there with the white and now I'm trying to figure out which one would be best okay we'll go in with again with the gold it might be a little too much gold, but we'll see see how this turns out. Now we'll put in a little bit of the black cherry. Black cherry um, tends to take everything a bit dark, so we'll go in with the white. Now that white against the black cherry might make a pink, so we'll see. It might end up being very, very pinky, very spring-like. We'll see. Now... Again, in with a diaxacene purple by Golden. Now with a white, titanium white with Liquitec Basics. And lastly, we're going to put in that um, cadmium yellow medium hue with cadmium yellow deeper hue. Or Okay, so um, in yesterday's pour, I did a straight pour. And it didn't turn out exactly how Fiona did it. So in this one, I'm doing a ring pour, hoping that it makes a difference. Um, and um, that it comes out more like what Fiona um, did. But it um, doesn't look like it did. It looks very muddy. And it might be just all the white that was in between all the colors. And maybe that's why it's not so vibrant. But let's take a look, see what we can do. Um, now we're going to um, put the heat uh, gun in it so that we can get rid of some of these air bubbles. That helped a little bit, so it brought up some of the um, beautiful cells that were underneath. So basically when the air 
bubbles are popped then it allows for the paint that's underneath to come up so it makes beautiful cells now let's get started and do the spinning Thank goodness that as um, we spin this, we see that by stretching um, some of these um, colors, we're actually able to see some of the um, bi more vibrant colors that are underneath. So it doesn't look so muddy um, after all. There is still a bit of the mud and we'll see how we can take care of that. But I'm just thankful that some of these vibrant colors came through because otherwise it would have been very muted colors, which... You know, there's a market for that. There's a lot of people who like muted colors. But um, like I said earlier, um, I wanted to do like a happy uh, pour something. For me, when I say happy for me is more vibrant colors. So yeah, so I'm excited about these colors coming through. doesn't look like the spinning is covering the whole canvas so I'm gonna have to stretch it I'm just at this point I'm just trying to figure out um, the best way to just cover the canvas once the cov the canvas is covered then I'll worry more about the composition because the composition is not great uh, right now so um, I don't have to worry about you know losing one part of the composition or, or, or the other it at this point, it's just a matter of covering the canvas and then figuring out how to fix um, that overall look of the painting. So now to try to get rid of this muddy part or the parts that are, well, just to give it a better composition, I'm going to try to roll a marble. I've never uh, rolled a marble before, so <laughs> um, we'll see how it goes. 
but um, yeah let's see well it seems to be working no I think if um, our colors were a little bit more vibrant less white there uh, this a marble roll would be more effective but um, it's not bad And it's super enjoyable, you know, it's just watching the marble go from one side to the other, it's just... I think I'm going to have to do another pour where the focus is the marble. Wow. I think I'm, I'm in love with rolling the marble. <laughs> So this is the close-up. It's fantastic. I don't know if you can see the shimmer. The shimmer is shimmerific. It's just fantastic. There's just so much to see. And then I'll cover this. I just realized I this edge is not covered, but I'll cover it. Um, so this is my first marble roll as well. I went into the Dollar Tree to get the shower curtains because I use them as um, the covers for my table and I ran out which is why I was using this pee pad. Um, I usually reuse them but they haven't dried so usually I let the drippings dry and then take that off but they haven't dried since it's been so cold so I have a bunch of them outside trying to dry up but um, anyhow. I was passing by um, at the Dollar Tree and saw the marbles and I figured, hey, why not? Let me take them and sure enough, they worked. Look at this gradient. It is just fantastic. Wowzers, as Julie Q would say. Wowzers. I hope you like it. I love it. So this is the dry piece. It's still a little muddy here in the lower uh, left corner. Um, I could have rolled the marble a little bit more there, uh, but um, up here, it's just like a super groovy design. It's super nice. I love it. Um, it's definitely more of a spring, maybe like Easter type of painting. So. If I were to try to sell it, I'd probably try to sell it during that time because those are more of the colors that would probably sell around that time. But um, I wouldn't, yeah, I'm not selling my stuff. I mean, if, you know, if someone likes it, then I'll take a look. I mean, I'll consider it, but um, at this point, I'm just doing this as art therapy. Um, and yeah, it's super nice. I love it. My favorite, this is my favorite part, like right here, probably taking a picture of this part and then like making prints. That would be nice. All right. Well, thank you for joining me in this art experience. 
I'll welcome you back next time. Thank you.